Monday. Man, Monday we've got some sad news with the with New Zealand and the Pacific community. The passing of Ephesus Collins. Man, that was a sad that was that was sad, man. Uh, I, d- I, d- I heard it on the radio because he was at a charity event on Monday night, on uh, Monday morning in town. Um, and he had to run there. He was he was running, carrying. It was like a a competition there, like yeah, running, looked, carrying, looked like, um, um, carrying buckets of water. water, pails of water, and around us mm. and a little square obstacle course. But obviously required a yeah. little bit of exercise and running. Yeah, yeah. So it was sort of to fundraise for clean water in the Pacific Islands, eh? Mm. You know, no surprises, man, because that guy's always a champion for Pacific Island stuff, man. Like, you know, he's always there, always wanting our people to do do better, you know, in a way where, you know, he has that voice because he's in politics. You know, he's been a councillor for a long, long time. He's always been into politics because he, he was the Student Association uh, president at Auckland Uni for a while mm. and then moved on to politics after that. But, man, he's always been in there trying to fight for our people in that. Uh, firstly, I just wanted to apologize for not actually doing some due diligence when Officer was running for um, council. I know at the time that when he put out his um, doing the bike lanes and trying to push um, public transport, I remember I thought it was just a sort of a ploy to sort of try and target that um, the green emissions at the time. And I thought, most councilmen, when they drop shit like that, they don't actually do it themselves, like try and catch a bus or anything like that. But as I look over the last few weeks, the last week of um, the outpour of like love for this dude and getting to know him a little bit more better, and first off by starting by hearing William Seal's speech about the kind of Pacifica man he was, knowing that he had just become like, you know, a member of the Green Party. So like for someone to be... um. If yeah, someone like who spoke like that but was from South Auckland, I sort of thought, man, this guy, you know, there's already passing judgment about someone without actually knowing his history. But then um just reading like a post from like Eddie's and that about how Officer was and just the sort of character he held, man, it really, really makes me sad that his poor his poor wife and kids, you know. A man who finally a week not even a week from being, you know, put in a caucus, doesn't even live, and he was actually out there doing the work, you know, he was actually on the ground in town doing the work, man. Um, saddens me, saddens me, even just knowing that he was part of alone, and hearing the beginning of his speech in his native tongue, like, this sort of stuff, saddens me that, you know, I never got to meet him, and only six days ago, I retweeted one of his tweets, that he sent and it was sort of like it got to me because man there was a few years back where the last sale and cast and stuff was going on with the stabbings and stuff and this was one of those sort of incidents you know i hadn't even known that he was part of parliament but it was just said that you know someone taken so early who obviously had an impact on um a lot of pacifica here in auckland and um yeah and most of the guys that he come across man so Shout out to Eddie to Avi taking the lead on um trying to get off Fessel's um funeral regiments and letting his family grieve during this time. Um yeah, pretty devastating news, eh? Like especially when you know what he was trying to push for, eh? I think um the one thing that stood out for me when um William Seal spoke was the um the injustice of the systematic racism that is about and just how he touched on um that it is about and maybe some older like some people older than him know it's there but they do it anyway without unconsciously knowing that bro hey, that's not right like what's coming out of your mouth you know so it's good that he caught that shit out so yeah rest in peace to a great man from South Auckland man I know he went to school with Daryl Afiaki and uh, Mr. Um, and probably with Rubes in that, that, that era they they all from the you know that's their hood eh? like you know all those old Tara guys so yeah, pretty pretty devastating news, man. Like leaving young family behind. It was devastating, news. and I remember I was at work, and I actually heard the announcement on the radio that he did pass away. 
Mm-hmm. Originally, I heard it on the radio that he collapsed, but there was no mention of. I think he just collapsed, and it was like breaking news, and that people had CPR there to do CPR on him and stuff. Yeah, and the ambulance was there and stuff, taking and um doing stuff, but. I didn't realize he passed away until maybe a couple of hours later when they came on the news again. Um, yeah. And I was shocked, man. I, st- I just sat there in my chair, looked at the... I actually, s- I actually turned towards where the radio was and just looked at it. And just thinking th- those words, I oh, sadly passed away. And man, you know, man, it's that's... like, damn, like, wow, like one minute you're there, one minute you're not. And that's that's been happening recently with you know, the people we know around, yeah. around us, you know, over the years. And like, ah. It's like same old, same old thing, man. It's like that's what because I was shocked because someone so as as prevalent as Professor was always in the you know he's always in the media talking about our people in a way where he wants us to succeed, you know. Even though you know I I disagreed with him on some things, you know, over the years. Yeah. Like I I, I see I I'm not a Green Party supporter. You know, I think they're too extreme. Mm. You know. It, he had his ways. He had his he had his reasons for leaving Labour to go to good to go to the Greens. And I think I know those what those reasons were. If I think about politics behind Labour and National Labour versus National, you know. And we spoke about National Party before. How the age of Jacinda Ardern, mm. they're not speaking to our people anymore. Really, mm. hey, they they've lost right. our people. Hey, yeah. So that's probably why the reason he left and went to the Green Party. But, you know, even the Police 10 7 stuff, I, d- I didn't agree with him there. Yeah. Like, like, I don't, it was, <laughs> I don't know. I was speaking for all the people that found Police 10 7 entertaining. <laughs> found it entertaining <laughs> and funny. Because we do, we do, because of others, we laugh at these sort of things, you know? Yeah. I think we we laughed at this, that show more than any other show, you know? But, you know, he did have a point. He did have a point. But, my my solution to the whole problem was okay, go back to the old um, crime watch days. We just showed showed on TV the real crimes, you know, not some drunk drunk dude drink driving and playing up at a party and all that kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> don't shouldn't go there. But um, but I think, but I think you know he's he's been there, he's he's been there always, been a voice for our people. Always fighting for our people to to succeed, you know. You can't fault that of the man. And he had his he had his ways of getting us there, getting us to the promised land. He had his way, and that's and that's where I think the disagreements come because other Polynesians, other Pacific Islanders have think they believe the way to get us to the promised land is a different way than his way. But uh, we all understand that, and yeah. I think. Um, yeah, it's just sad to see him go. Like, and he just started, man. He just got into parliament after being a local in the local government for all these years. Now he's in parliament, and he had his uh, entry speech, eh? Well, whatever they call it, yeah, in, in parliament just weeks before he passed away, eh, man. So, yeah, it's a sad, it's been a sad week. It's been a sad week for for Pacific and in this country seeing a leader like that um, just leave us, eh? Especially, especially helping a charity event, you know. So, mm. Man, no one deserves to go out like that. But uh, but like how um, how comforting knowing that David Tilly was with him. David Tilly was right by his side right from the moment, even like just doing the actual charity event. They they were walking around you know the squares and the obstacle course together, but then even for the news who were there on on site to go breaking news for him just to share like you know his point of view and his opinions about official as well pretty um yeah pretty daunting man like considering that his kids were still at school as well and the news had already broken out um i think no one deserves to sort of hear about you know their loved ones being passing away and you don't even know firsthand from someone that legit your family you know so Typical Facebook man, breaking news and then coming on TV. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's the things I probably thought about when the, I did hear it on the news. Mm. If this is how the family got the news, 
Yeah. That, but, but the, I guess that's the the price you pay when you're in the public aisle. Yeah, it's the nature of it. 